Hi guys, tonight I've come to Liverpool Street Station, which is just there behind me, to meet Chloe at Broadgate Circus, which is just around the corner from here, for drinks, dinner, and to go ice skating, but not in that order. Ice skating first, then drinks, then dinner. So let's go. I keep calling this place Broadgate Circus. It rolls off the tongue like Piccadilly Circus, but it is in fact Broadgate Circle. It's kind of hidden gem in the city. It's right next to Liverpool Street Station, so it's quite off the tourist trail. And it's like a modern day amphitheatre. It's, although having said that, it's pretty close to Spitalfields Market. But the, um, the centre here, the circle here, is surrounded, the whole perimeter is restaurants and bars, some really good ones, so we'll be back there later. And throughout the year they put on various events, pop-ups. At the minute, during the day, there's a festive food market, but they've had things like volleyball in the summer, and there's often pop-up food events too. The Broadgate Ice Rink is actually in Exchange Square. It's just along this walkway which runs from Broadgate Circle through Liverpool Street Station to here, Exchange Square, which is an amazing open space in the city. It's a big piazza right next to the, the sheds of Liverpool Street Station. And it's a hugely popular spot, especially in the summer, for all the office workers from the surrounding offices. There are bars and restaurants on, around the perimeter. Also, it's a nice open space for people to enjoy their lunch. And just like Broadgate Circle, they use Exchange Square to host various events throughout the year, pop-up events. And right now the ice rink's here and it's almost completely filled the piazza. Now look, they've got the Zamboni out to resurface the ice. That's good, we can get out on some fresh ice. Last, definitely not first.
probably is a lot better than I am. How come you're better than me? Huh? You've been practicing, haven't you? I bet you had professional lessons when you was a kid, didn't you? Yeah. You didn't tell me that. Idiot. Okay, I've done a few practice laps. I'm going to do what they call in Grand Prix practice a hot lap. Chloe's going to film me. Ready? Come on. Fun. I've done nearly 50 minutes. The session's an hour long. I'm starting to get a bit cocky. You know what they say, pride before a fall. So I've got to retire to the farm. tasting room and the bar next door to grab a drink, maybe a little food. tasting room bar which overlooks the ice rink. I've gone for a, a warm mulled cider. Mm, it's good. Bo's having a mulled wine. How's the wine? It's good. If you've seen my other vlogs about the ice rinks here in London, you'll know that the one at the Natural History Museum has an amazing backdrop. The museum makes an amazing backdrop. And we went there, I enjoy going there to the bar for a drink. The Somerset House ice rink is probably the most spectacular backdrop in London. And again, we went there and enjoyed a drink and a fabulous evening. The reason we chose to actually come skating at Broadgate 
it's it's a little bit more hidden it's completely secluded by office blocks so you get less it's less touristy they've got less passing trade because it's less crowded it's just a bit more relaxed and I love going to the other ice rinks to watch the skating it's, they're really busy and obviously watching people fall over is quite a good pastime but I don't want to be one of them so a broad gate you've got a mix of people mixed abilities you've got people who've never skated before clinging on to the barriers for dear life and working their way around which is something I had to do for the first lap because I hadn't skated for a long time and then you've got people who are clearly much better very experienced skaters practicing their moves in the middle the skating's really good fun so you probably don't realize at the time but it's probably really good exercise as well definitely built up an appetite for these nibbles is a super cosy bar and restaurant right next to the ice rink but there's this terrace overlooking the rink too and half of it's available for private hire so I'm sure this space is going to be super popular for Christmas parties and office parties. There's clearly quite a few people here tonight out with work and we're out with colleagues I'm not sure if they're here on Christmas parties or just unwinding after work it's quite amusing to watch the people getting pushed around on plastic seals, snapchatting in their business suits and their, uh, their work attire. sure if this pair are Instagramming or Snapchatting but I'm sure if I check the uh, the ice rinks hashtags later I'll get a uh, on ice view of this one We've got a small assortment of the tasters they do here at the bar. We've got some almonds, some other nuts, pork scratchings, a um, scotch egg and a sausage roll. Ice skating was great fun and the warming drinks were delicious as was the food in the tasting room afterwards. Now we're going to head and see if we can get another drink in one of the bars and restaurants in Broadgate Circus.
to a restaurant in Broadgate. I keep saying circus, but I think it's circle. The restaurant called Jose's. It's a Spanish tapas bar. The drinks are good. The food's amazing. And the atmosphere is bigger than my microphone, so I've come out here to tell you. But if you're ever in the area, it's definitely worth checking out. Let's go and take a look. We've got some wine and we've ordered a few small tapas dishes to share. First up, the padron peppers and some sourdough bread with a little olive oil for dipping in. I love padron peppers, like a game of Russian roulette. Every now and again, you get a hot one. Got a plate of the Iberico ham. The hams in Yose's are delicious. One of my favorite dishes in here. I say the ham was my favorite dish? I love the potatoes bravas in here. Um, most places serve the potatoes with the tomato sauce, the potatoes bravas separately to potatoes aioli with the mayonnaise sauce. Here they combine the two and it works so well together. Right, next up we're sharing a dish of sausages and a little tomato bread. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Merry Christmas, if you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up like button, and if you'd like to see more, the subscribe button. I'll see you tomorrow. Toodles.